I'm back in my old school. Good afternoon, I'm Dan Hagen. Today on Up North F4, we welcome a Northwoods ecologist and author who just came out with a new book about climate change. Then we dig into our archives to learn about the old beer bars of Rhinelander. We'll get to all of that in a bit, but first here, let's take a look at your weather. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now. Jeff, a nice day out there. Yeah, hey Dan, uh, lots of cloud cover early today, followed by some sunshine through the afternoon. Temperatures are hanging out though in the 60s out there today with the sunshine. We'll keep that going tomorrow, but there could be a couple sprinkles across the area tomorrow. All right, here we go. Out there right now though, it's gorgeous, right? Temperature at 67 degrees, a northwest breeze around 9. Dew point there really low, which means very dry air in place currently across the Rhinelander area. Same story for Wausau with temperatures hanging out in the mid even upper 60s down that way as well. So here's the big picture temperature wise across the area. Some 70s across far eastern parts of Wisconsin, but the rest of us though are in the 60s out there today. Uh, that is going to be the case kind of going forward tomorrow and also for Friday and for Saturday. But check out these dew points. This is incredibly dry air. In fact, do this tonight. Take your shoes off and walk across your carpeting and try to shock somebody. The air is just that dry this evening. Uh, so do that with dew points in the 20s and 30s. This is very good sleeping weather out there tonight. Temperature wise going forward though, so 69 tomorrow. So many of you will do 70 tomorrow, followed by some uh, cooler air getting in here on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Keep in mind, the average high now is 73, 74. Those are not on the map anytime soon. We have comfortable, refreshing 60s uh, for most of us in the seven day forecast. Out there currently, lots of clear skies, but there are some clouds to the west of us. That is a very weak weather system over here. That that could bring us maybe a shower or two tomorrow. That's not going to be a big deal at all. Overall, it's going to be kind of a dry trend for us into the weekend. When this system gets in here, it's a slow mover. We do have rain showers back in the forecast scattered for Saturday into Sunday. Our forecast then tonight though is increasing clouds to mostly cloudy skies. There could be a rogue sprinkle. Most of us will stay dry with low temperatures down near 49. Your full forecast at five o'clock. This summer, if you're in the market for a high quality, affordable windows that add instant curb appeal, call the company your neighbors trust. Mad City Windows, Wisconsin's number one remodeler. Our high performance windows feature sky mirror technology and layers of low E to help save energy dollars. Now's the time to act during our 60-60-60 sale. Receive 60% off installation of new windows for your home. 60 months zero interest, senior military discounts, and a $60 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Plus a bonus. Call during this program and receive $250 in Mad City cash towards your future home improvements. Ask about Mad City's Do More discount for savings on new bath or shower installs and kitchen cabinet refacing. A-plus rating with the BBB with more than 50,000 satisfied customers. Well, it gives you a feeling of security that you know you can trust these people. You can trust what they say. If they say they're going to come on a certain day at a certain time, you know, they do it. Do like thousands of other folks and make the call to Mad City Windows. A-plus rated with the BBB in several colors and styles to choose from. Champagne, bronze, and forest green, all backed with a lifetime warranty. We're just a click away at madcitywindows.com. Now's the time to act during our 60-60-60 sale. Receive 60% off installation of new windows, 60 months zero interest, senior and military discounts, and a $60 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate, plus the bonus. Call during this program and receive $250 in Mad City cash towards future purchases. From Wausau in north central Wisconsin, call 715-690-3085. Here's that number again, 715-690-3085. Perkins Strawberry Fresh Dribble is back with sensational meals starting at $7.99. Savor the flavor of Garden Fresh Strawberry Sweetness in every bite of these delicious platters. And don't forget a slice of fresh strawberry pie from our bakery. Save time and order online at perkins2go.com. 
Welcome back to Up North at Four. We were with Rand Atkinson from the Star Lake, Wisconsin area. Rand is an ecologist, he's a professor, and now an author. So, Rand, before we talk about your new book, just tell us about who you are. How did you land in Star Lake? Um, I need the place to write. A peaceful place that was intact. I spent my whole life in Wisconsin in various habitats and places. Grew up here from the uh, from my early childhood, and uh, being able to uh, look at Wisconsin, the landscape, what's happening on the landscape, um, I decided I needed a place where I could go to that was intact mm -hmm. or fairly intact, um, so I could absorb more more nature and a peaceful place to write. And you write about ecology, you write about the environment, you write about climate change. Why are these subjects a passion for you? Um, when I was in college in the 70s, that, I didn't even know I was part of it, but I was the, uh, that was the beginning of the environmental movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's when Rachel Carson and uh, natural resources laws were passed on the national level and it began on, even on the state level. Mm -hmm. So when I got a undergrad, um, I got hired by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources uh, as an LT, like the rest of the government world. Um, but what gave me the passion was a, a professor, um, and I was going to be a doctor, but he cornered me in the corner and turned me into a field biologist. Is this Aldo Leopold? Uh, he was a student of a student of Elder Leopold, so it was ingrained in him, and uh, it f fell to me, um, and I was impressed by it. So he said one thing to me. He said, uh, Leopold, back in the early 40s, and you got to understand, he started our conservation department. He started the uh, um, Wisconsin... Um, Conservation Congress. Mm -hmm. He started. He there's no such thing as wildlife, fisheries management. None of that. It was there was forestry that was just beginning. That was it. Right. So Leopold influenced him, but all of his graduate students that are now dying around Madison um, and have effects of the Leopold Foundation. The people are involved in that. The old fellows. He encouraged them to write about what he what that person. One of his students at the time um, saw what was happening um, between man and nature, mm -hmm. okay, and write about it. So I picked up that habit early, and essentially this book is, I probably have had three or four hundred essays, and I picked 77 of them wow. um, out of uh, all my essays. And my daughters encouraged me, and I'm very fortunate because while well, they had to work with me, I'm an aquatic ecologist, mm -hmm. so when I had my business up in this area looking at lakes. Uh, they were in college, it was started in grade school all the way through college. Mm -hmm. They were work with, working with me. So it ends up, again, this is, this book's purpose is to get people to listen. If you look at the subtitle, what can we do um, for our children? Practical ecology mm -hmm. to save planet Earth for our children. Right. And my daughters, I guess, are a good example my one daughter runs Trout and Lemon in Alaska. She's executive director. And the second one is a uh, school teacher, but she also has a degree in environmental education from Point. Mm -hmm. And she uh, has a community garden and prairie that she put at at both grade schools at Wittenberg Burnhamwood. So I'm, I'm very fortunate. You are. My kids listened and, and they're passing it on, and I hope everybody else can too. Initially from Leopold, now to your kids. It's, that's wonderful. Well, yep. Rand, let's take a break right now. I think after the break, we'll learn some of the practical tips that you offer in your book. Does that sound good? Sure. All right, we'll be right back. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection, open seven days a week for your convenience. We try to make people happy through desserts here. It's the thing I love about this bakery, but it almost didn't happen. The small business grant from Governor Evers was vital. We were able to expand in the middle of a pandemic from a staff of three to 18 people. The governor's small business grant was incredibly helpful. 
Tony Evers is doing the right thing for small businesses like my bakery and for so many others across Wisconsin. With less moderate to severe eczema, why hide your skin if you can help heal your skin from within? Depixin helps keep you one step ahead of eczema with clearer skin and less itch. Hide my skin? Not me. Don't use if you're allergic to Depixin. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about Depixin. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Create an attractive outdoor space with landscape blocks. There's no limit for possibilities of what you could come up with. Get Crestone retaining wall blocks for only 99 cents each after 11% rebate. Spend less time maintaining your deck and more time relaxing on it. Ultra Deck is a low maintenance composite decking that's scratch, slip, and stain resistant. Get 11% off all Ultra Deck now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The natural beauty of the Northwoods beckons us to play outdoors. But there is a visitor we must carefully avoid, ticks and the illnesses they carry. I thought it was a tick bite, but my test was negative. Then I had months of joint aches, brain fog, and bad headaches. Our medical staff is thorough, experienced, and focused on the patient. One approach doesn't work for all. Treating a tick-borne illness requires experience in treating multiple symptoms and developing unique care plans. Call us today. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. We're back on Up North at Four with Rand Atkins. He and he's an ecologist and he's an author. This is his first book right now. It's called Revolt. Why is it called Revolt, Rand? Um, again, back to Alda Leopold. Um, Aldo, um, in writing his Sand County Almanac, um, if you read the prefix to it, which I never did until my daughters encouraged me to write the book, um, he called for a revolt on the way, you got to understand this, this is 1940, on the way humans are treating the land. Okay, um, and the second part of that would be he had advice and that's evident in his book. In the beginning of his book, it, his, it was his almanac part. But as you went along uh, in the book, the second part was uh, humanity was out of step. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no government conservation. There was no um, private awareness of the environment. So he called those people collectively, both government and private, he called them uh, the company. And so the second part of Sandy County Almanac, if you look at it, he, is how he says the company is out of step. Okay, and the third part, which has the land ethic and everything else in it, is how the company can get back in step. So I arranged the book the same way. So I feel like we should get some tips that you put through the book here. What are some practical ecology? I turn to home conservation, for example, a chapter and essay on home conservation. Okay, um, that particular chapter um, is what can you do, okay, and it almost sounds like uh, the in environmental movement that we have today, but it, it goes beyond that. Um, recycling, um, turn your lights off, okay? I grew up in that, you know, there's a couple times just like we have right now where you have to save money in that, um, close the door. Okay, close the screen door so the mosquitoes don't come in. Okay, but why are the mosquitoes trying to get it in? Mm -hmm. Because they know you're in there and they CO2 and they want to bite you. I mean, these are, <laughs> these are things, um, consumption. Okay, we're in, we're in a society where um, we're consume, great consumers. Okay, and that helps our economy. But I have same to cut you off, I'm sorry, Rand. You only have 30 seconds left, because I want to make sure people at home can figure out how to buy your book. Sure. So I don't want to cut that off. <laughs> sure. No, that's fine. Um, you can buy it uh, by contacting me um, or email me, which is better, because I live in the North Woods with poor reception, at 608-778-1131. Text me, because I don't get phone service all the, way, all the time. Mm -hmm. Or you can email me 
at R.A. Ferndock, just how it sounds, publishing at gmail.com. Okay, I'll post those on our Facebook page okay. later on Up North at 4. Rand, it was a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're going to take a break. Right after the break, we're going to go into our archive and learn about beer bars, a thing of the past. We'll be right back. The increasing cost of inflation is impacting people and families here in central Wisconsin. The D.C. liberal spending has triggered historic inflation. Senator Ron Johnson is holding the line. Retirees on a fixed income, uh, the working poor, those are exactly the people that are hurt most by inflation. Inflation is a tax on everybody. Johnson voted against the reckless spending and he's fighting to cut the waste in Washington. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting to stop the spending that hits us with the inflation tax. Visit Wildberry Market, the premier natural food store in the North Woods, for all of your organic food and health needs. Grab a healthy lunch on the go, made fresh daily by our deli. Eat well, live well, be well. Wildberry Market in Minocqua and online. Do you have sleep apnea? Struggling with your CPAP? Ditch the mask and let New Horizons Sleep Solutions help you achieve your best night's sleep. Dr. James Block is your expert in oral appliance therapy, a simple, comfortable treatment for snoring and sleep apnea. If you have a CPAP machine that you're struggling to use, consider oral appliance therapy to improve your sleep and protect your health. Call today to schedule a complimentary consultation appointment and wake up to a new horizon in sleep apnea treatment. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists and has helped over one million people. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or arm. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Enjoy the serenity of northern Wisconsin all year long. First stop, Chequagamon Adventure Company. Skis, skates, snowshoes, and fat bikes. Kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards. Chequagamon Adventure Company. Stop by the store or visit us online. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. Welcome back to Up North Head 4 and our How We Got Here series. We're joined by Ron Landers, Bill Vankos. Bill, how are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. When you told me about Wisconsin beer bars, I was blown away. I had never heard this concept before. So tell us about Wisconsin beer bars and the ones in Rhinelander. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, uh, you know, the, the, oftentimes they can you can divide people into two groups. For instance, your group would be... Uh, um, viewers or potential viewers, right? I mean, we can always do that. So in the old in the olden days, there were two groups of people. There were the beer bars with a 18 year old minimum drinking age, and then there was the traditional taverns with a 21 year old drinking age. So there were those two uh, unique uh, things. And and so as for your viewers, older viewers, uh, may, this may bring back some memories of when they started their social uh, uh, lives out at these beer bars. And then for younger people like yourself, this is totally, a totally unique concept. So it kind of evolved and, and we'll get into that. So it really started with the uh, end of prohibition in 1933. So prior to 1920 in prohibition, um, there was one liquor license and, and that covered beer and uh, you know hard liquor and everything like that. So when it came time to end the prohibition, for some reason, I'm not sure why, they created six months before they actually ended the, the full prohibition, they allowed the sale of 3.2% beer called 3-2 beer, a weak beer. Uh, so for six months that was, a, that was sold and then six months later the repeal of the entire thing happened. 
So when that 33, 34 legislature got together in, in Wisconsin, they <clears throat> created the, what would you want to call the intoxicating liquor law, but they didn't address the fermented malt beverage part of it. So the old standing 3-2 beer was allowed to, to go to traditional beer, which is I think four to seven percent, something like that. So that was allowed to stay with that 18 year old age. And then the traditional intoxicating liquor law had that minimum age of 21. So that's when it kind of started. So now we have these beer bars and there's, there were really two groups uh, in the beer bars. There were resorts that wanted to have a, a little bar for their guests that were there, but beer bar licenses were much less expensive and it was much easier just to be able to open up bottles and cans than it was to have to, you know, mix drinks and stuff like that. So a lot of resorts just went to beer bars. And then there was the segment of beer bars that was tailored to young adults, the 18, 19, and 20 year olds. And, and pretty much that's all that went there was, was that age group. So we had those two groups going on. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I think you, there was a, you heard about the old village or the old V, which was a Indian village on K west of Rhinelander that also had a gift shop. Well, when they left, somebody turned that into a beer bar and it was still called the old village or the old V. Um, it was before my time, it burnt down in 1963. So I never got to see it personally, but that was, a, that was one of the first or the oldest ones that when I talked to some other people around town that came up. So so the old village or the old V was was uh, one of the first uh, beer bars. Um, so with this 18-year-old drinking came a, a number of problems. There was traveling. There was young people that were driving to uh, go, you know, consume this alcohol, and there were accidents that were happening. So so that needed to be addressed by the legislature. There was a lot of use of fake IDs, um, and so that needed to be addressed by the, by the legislatures too. Now, I want to put a caveat in here. What I'm talking about is strictly hypothetical, and, and I may have heard it from someone, but things like that. But uh, oftentimes, bars would accept uh, driver's licenses, an example, didn't have photos on them until the early 20s. So a driver's license would not have had a photo to a, a identify you. For guys, you, they had the, the draft cards. When you're 18, they had to go register for the draft, and they got a, a draft card. And again, that did not have a picture ID on it. Now, something like that was, was very handy. Let's, let's use an example. Suppose your older sister's boyfriend uh, was a couple of years older than you, and he might have been 18 and might have had a draft card. Wanting to stay in good graces with the family, he might have been persuaded to loan that out on occasion. <laughs> so that the younger brother then could go someplace. And, and you know, back in, in those old days, everybody knew everybody in these towns. So oftentimes you would travel. So in Rhinelander, perhaps they would travel to Tomahawk, as an example. There was a bar called Hoobies there, I'm told. Um, and and I'm, I'm also told they accepted draft cards. So they may have, they may have gone there and, and done that sort of thing. So, so again, the legislator had to start addressing this. There were actually 94 proposals of different laws that were put together. And I think 21 of them actually were implemented. And first of all, they had to address the fact that the younger people from the neighboring states were coming over to Wisconsin to, to drink. So they passed a law that did not allow uh, 18, 19 and 20 year olds from the bordering states to come in and do it. So that was one way to address that. Then they got into this fact of that they needed a better identification process. So they came up with a requirement for a photo ID and, and that would have a picture on it. So they first did that. And then a couple of years later, they came up with one that said that had to be laminated. <laughs> uh, I, again, I'm told that people could cut the bottom and slip a different picture in there. And uh, you know, it, just all of those things, you hear stories like that, right? Uh, and then a couple of years after that, they, they heightened the demand for the, for the um, uh, lamination and it had to be, uh, I can't remember what the term was, but it was a, a more substantial lamination that was required on it. So they, they kept trying to, to tighten this stuff up. And of course, young people were figuring out ways to enter on the system every time as well too. So, uh, <laughs> so 
Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Wherever you are in life, Rasmussen University offers the flexibility and support you need to earn your associate's, bachelor's, or master's degree. Here in Wausau or online nationally at any time. With a dedicated advisor, mentoring, and career services before and after graduation, it's go time. You take the first step and we'll help you take the next. Start now at rasmussen.edu. At Rasmussen University, green means go. Oh, allergy sufferers. Bedtime means it's time to take Zizol. Zizol relieves allergies while you sleep, so you wake refreshed. Plus, it works faster than Claritin and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec in a pill nearly half the size. Be wise all. Take Zizol at night. Come out to Northern Pines and leave the cooking to us. Have a cold drink and relax as you enjoy the beautiful view of the lake and great food. Try our Friday night fish fry and seafood buffet. Come out to Northern Pines on Butternut Lake. Tomorrow, it's a royal celebration on today. We're live in London for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Week as excitement builds for this historic anniversary. Your insider ticket to the big event tomorrow on today. Your home where life happens. Family and friends gather. Memories are created. Locally family-owned business serving Rhinelander, Eagle River, and surrounding areas. Come into one of our stores located in Eagle River or Rhinelander and work closely with one of our creative kitchen designers on creating your dream kitchen. Eagle River Cabinets, building relationships, one cabinet at a time. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. <laughs> you know, it's been really fun in the newsroom the last couple of days, Jeff. We have two interns who just you started. Do. They're doing a great job. Yeah, it's a, it's a lively place in there right Definitely. now. We're covering lots of news stories. And it's funny how, you know, the Northwoods comes alive, right? In the summertime, even mm -hmm. more so than the wintertime. And there's lots of cool stories to cover, so. Just as long as it's not on Highway 51, I'm a fine man. Man, that alive. backup was incredible. Yeah. Going north, of course, on Friday, then heading south on Monday it was bad. It'll probably happen again next weekend. Yeah, okay, well, we'll have an update on weather for next weekend coming up on Newswatch 12 at 5. <laughs>